everyone, we're with Lydia here and welcome back to your new Living Dead Door review on my channel. So today, as you can see, I'm doing a review on Binit. She's from series 31, don't turn off the lights. And she's actually the last doll that I'm doing a review on from this series, because all of the other uh, dolls I have already done a review on, so you can check that out on my channel, you will be able to find them there. By the way, sorry about the glare. <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, so first off, let me show you her coffin and after that we will move on to the doll so here is a close-up of the coffin and as you can see the clear lid in the front is the same looking as always with the shiny living dead dolls letters the cobwebs and all that stuff now the tissue paper uh, you can see underneath the clear lid that it's pitch black which I think it fits really well this series and the coffin is also the same old simple black one with the back that says living dead dolls so now her chipboard as you can see there's um her name beneath and it's really interesting because it's wrote separately so it's it's like an original name b and like her family name is neat but again uh, when you read it all together it means beneath because she is, she lives beneath the um, bed, so that's really a little bit of cool play that they did there. And you can see that there's her hand and her glowing red eyes reaching out from underneath the bed. And the poem reads, fiery eyes and bloody teeth, dare not look under your bed, for she is beneath. So it's a really cute <laughs> and the freaky uh, poem we got we got there and it also says series 31 and now let's take a closer look at the actual doll so here is beneath and she's really really uh, creepy and cute at the same time uh, I guess she's kind of like the black or in this case pink sheep of the group because all the others are uh, really really dark and all with black and stuff like that but she is really like a happy little schoolgirl with <laughs> pink hair so you can see that she has really really uh, nice straight uh, light pink hair that's really really shiny goes down to about her waist so she's really uh, cute and her face and you can see that she's a white skin doll and she has this uh, really um, uh, kind of like a uh, really mean or really uh, kind of like crazy look on her face her eyes are red but the iris is actually blue striking blue and around her eyes there is this uh, pink shadowing going on which matches her hair now she has this uh, uh, insane grin on her face and her teeth and around her mouth there is blood and it's dripping down her chin and you know in the chipboard one it did say that she has bloody teeth so now going down her dress is really cute it's really um, reminds me of uh, the Victorian times as well most of the other dolls have the same style and as you can see it's black and uh, this uh, purplish magenta colored stripes going down and it has two white colors with a little black bow in the front so it's really really those those little um, Victorian girls that were playing around uh, in the room with uh, their dollies and dollhouse and that's what she reminds me of with this cute little dress and she also has some black uh, stockings or leggings by the way mine has a little uh, error there you can see that that part is just I don't know it's a little bit uh, flawed but uh, that's okay I mean it's not really a big thing so yeah she has uh, black leggings oh by the way you can see her panties are actually purple and she has the same old um, black little uh, sandals or shoes that most of the Living Dead Dolls girls come with. 
And that's about it for those. So she's kind of simple yet really, really uh, uh, insane and cute looking. So I, I just really, really love her. So here is her death certificate. And by the way, she does not come with any other kind of accessories besides her death certificate. And on it, it says beneath. What is it you fear that lives under your bed? By the time you find out, you will already be dead. So it's a really little short uh, and interesting little poem that, you know, it's right on point and it tells you what that she is under your bed and she will kill you. So it's it uh, doesn't need to be any longer. And the morticians are Damien Glanek and Ed Long as always. And it does not have a date of death. And that's because she is kind of like her uh, other... Uh, little friends from this series that she's you know eternal always always there underneath your bed so she is dead but kind of still alive so it's a really interesting concept there and there's also the little sulfur sign and yes yeah, so that's about it um, tell me down below in the comments how do you like her as I said before I really love her uh, but although when first I saw her, she was probably my least favorite from this series, but she really has grown on me and I think she's really, really cute. And also, please give me a thumbs up if you like Mariu and subscribe to my channel for other Living Dead Doll and other kind of toy reviews. And yeah, so that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!